Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Video Freak and welcome to an SFM tutorial. This SFM tutorial will be how to render two maps in one render. So what you have to do first, I've already set this up to render two maps. So first of all you need to go to the element viewer, click the home button, go to the sessions, open the active clip and remove the map name. Completely just delete it from the from the session and everything will be fine. Then the next step you have to do is you have to right click a shot, you then click on show an element viewer, you then when you go to the map name you can select the map you want to use. And you have to do this for every single shot completely. So as these shots here, shot four and shot three are the same map, you have to go into the you have to go to the next shot, select the show map so an element viewer, then select the map name. And then if you uh, go to my next shot, where it's where it's, it's the Fredbear's map, you go here, select the element viewer, then select the map. Now, here's the main thing that you have to know. Of course, every single shot has to have a map assigned to it, but do not change the map via, the, via unload map and loading map. You have to load it through the console. So you go into the Windows tab, you click console if you haven't got it open. And then you type change level, then the name of the level. So for this for the sake of this we'll just do dark room. As a, and of course it's still the wrong map loaded anyway. So it will be the wrong map throughout the entire page and to render and then just render it normally so then open export movie i'm just going to do it to do it at the mats where it's just different i'll do it from this shot to this shot i'm going to quickly just load up the other map again change level fnaf 4 And now I'm going to quickly just step and check it's these shots I want to export. Yep, it's those shots I want to export. So you just go to export, movie, save, and export. And as you can see, it's saying loading map as it's loading the next map for the shot. So this will do it automatically. And, and now I will show you the finished result. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, subscribe for more tutorials and let me know what you might be to do a tutorial on next. Thank you and goodbye.